This is Kids Planet, the best place in outer space. And I'm your friend, Nova. I've missed you. I couldn't wait to continue exploring with you and go on new adventures. To travel together across the universe to learn more about values and good manners. It'll be another super fun day of discovery. Ready for takeoff? Here we go! Today we'll become super pedestrians. First, what's a pedestrian? My dad said all of us who walk through public spaces or streets are called pedestrians. And today, we're going to learn to become super pedestrians. It's me, Nova, a super pedestrian reporting that the road to the park is very fun and safe. <laughs> My mom says the most important thing while on the street is to be safe. And we must listen to our parents because they know a lot. And there's a lot we still have to learn. Being safe will allow us to have fun, dance, play, spend time with friends, take Comet and Astro for a walk, go to the movies, or visit my Aunt Orbit. <gasps> we can do everything as long as we think of safety first. Our great friend Curious is already prepared to tell us everything he knows about this next question. Should we walk on the street alone? We may not even need Curious to help us with this one. I think we already know the answer. No! We should never walk alone in the street! Most of us go places with our parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, older brothers, sisters, or with another adult, like a teacher or family friend. We always should have someone older with us to keep us safe from any danger. Like cars zipping by, or strangers. Sometimes I imagine myself as a great star in space and that I have bodyguards. But walking down the street is a big responsibility and we need to listen closely to our older bodyguards who are there to help keep us safe. We need to pay attention. And using our ears is a great way to do that. Outside of our house, there are all kinds of sounds. Birds chirping, swings swinging at a park, the wind, people walking and talking, neighbors walking their pets, and kids like us playing and running around having a good time. Not to mention cars driving by, and bikes, buses, and motorcycles. It's very important for us to use our ears and listen to pay close attention to what's happening on the street. The street speaks to us with all kinds of different sounds, and we must listen closely to understand when it is safe and when it is not. How else does the street talk to us? One way is through traffic signs. Curious is ready to teach us the answer to the next question. What are traffic signs? Our friend Curious says traffic signs are symbols or pictures on the street. And each one means something different. Like the little stickers with smiley faces Mrs. Star gives to our class. That's the sign that means we behave well. These traffic signs are very important because they tell people who are walking or driving about what is supposed to happen in the street. Traffic signs prevent accidents so no one gets hurt. And they help with traffic. Traffic means when there are too many people or cars in the street. In outer space, there should be traffic signs for meteorites. 
Someone needs to help them stop colliding. Curious tells us that there are up to 200 different kinds of traffic signs. 200, that's a lot. We would need 40 hands to count them with all our fingers. The good news is that once you learn them, traffic signs are easy to understand. There are yellow ones which have four sides. These yellow signs tell you that you need to slow down because there's a school nearby where there are sharp curves ahead. Whoa, you have to slow down. I bet you know what the red ones are. They have eight sides. Do you know? That's right. They are stop signs and tell us to stop. There are some orange ones that tell us that something is under construction or being fixed. Like the men at work sign. The green ones are popular. I see them all the time when I go in the car with my parents or when I walk. They tell us the names of the streets or the distance between one place to another. There are the blue signs which tell us when we get to some important place, such as an airport or a place where you must cross the street. And there are white ones, which tell us how fast we are allowed to go on the road. In addition to all the kinds of signs, there's an object that tells us what to do on the road by using lights. Can you guess what it is? Curious, do you know? Yes! A traffic light. This light box is very important as we walk or ride in the car with our parents. It tells us when we should stop and when we can go. When it's red, the traffic light tells drivers to stop, wait, and let people cross the street or other cars go by. When it's green, drivers can move forward and the people walking on the street must wait. And when it's yellow, it tells drivers to slow down. Because next, the light will change to red and they'll need to stop. Traffic lights help keep everyone on the street safe. Wow, we've already learned a lot today how to pay attention to the sounds of the street, the traffic signs and traffic lights so we can be safe. We're really becoming super pedestrians. When we come back, we'll talk about something really important, how we should behave when we cross the street, especially now that we know how to read traffic signs and traffic lights and we'll discover how to behave in the street with others. But before we do that, it's time for our Nova Quiz. Here we go. What do you do if you walk up to a red traffic sign on the street? We'll be right back with the answer here in the best place in outer space. Planet. Welcome back to Kids Planet, the best place in outer space. Ready to have some more fun? Me too. First, let's find out the answer to our Nova quiz. Remember the question? What do you do if you walk up to a red traffic sign on the street? If you answered stop, that's right. You always stop at a red stop sign. I like to take walks with my Aunt Orbit. She takes me to really fun places, like the beach and amusement parks. I feel safe with her because she knows how to walk down the street correctly and how to pay attention to traffic signs and traffic signals. 
The other day, I was playing with my ball on the sidewalk, and I almost crossed the street when it wasn't my turn. Thank goodness my Aunt Orbit was there to stop me. Has that ever happened to you? How scary! To make sure we know how to be safe, our pal Curious is here to help us answer this question. How do we cross the street? This is a really important question. Probably the most important one we'll talk about today. First, we can't be distracted. Just like I was with my ball the other day. No, we have to pay attention. We already talked about listening to the sounds of the street. We also have to use our eyes, right? Yes, we need to look with our eyes to see what color the traffic light is before we take even one step into the street. My parents always walk with my brother Neutron and me to keep us safe. But one day, I'll be able to do it by myself. And so will you. So, watch the traffic light closely. And even after the light turns red, which means the cars have to stop, always look both ways and wait for the adult who is with you to tell you it's safe to cross. Curious says we should always respect the zebra crossing. But what's a zebra crossing? <laughs> it's not zebras crossing the street. A zebra crossing has white stripes we can see on the street. And it means people can cross safely from one side of the street to the other. By walking only on the zebra crossing, we can be safe and avoid getting hurt. Most of the time, we can cross slowly, always paying attention to the cars and the traffic lights. But sometimes, there are too many people who try to cross at the same time. My Aunt Orbit says it's important to let people pass you if they're in a hurry. Adults look at the drivers in the car cars and traffic lights. My mom says this helps to make sure the drivers see us. If the traffic light changes color when we're still crossing the street, the drivers will see us and wait until we safely make it to the other side before they start driving again. Thanks, Curious, for helping us learn how to cross the street. Now we know all about the zebra crossing. <laughs> And that's not actual zebras walking across the street. Going out on the street is a little harder than it looks. Neutron says I can exaggerate sometimes. Between you and me, maybe I am exaggerating a little bit. <laughs> Let's keep learning. I have another question for Curious. How should we behave in the street? Well, first and foremost, we should be safe like we've discussed. Also, it's important to be considerate of others when we're on the street, particularly if someone needs help. We're very good at it. Sometimes, I like to help older people cross the street. I remember once a lady dropped her groceries in the street. She was very worried. But Neutron and I came to the rescue. We checked with my mom, and she said we could help the lady. So we helped her pick up everything. She was so grateful. It's always good to smile and have a positive attitude. My Aunt Orbit says both will help you become the best super pedestrian ever. Be respectful, be kind, and smile. This will help everyone you see on the street have a nice day. My mom always says, Nova, on the street we must be calm and slow. My mom is right, but I also love to run. But can you imagine if we all ran like soccer players on the street? That would be a complete disaster! It's better to walk quietly in the street and only run in the park with our friends while we play. Good job, everyone! We learned that helping others is very important when we walk across the street. That smiling can make somebody's day great. And to become superstar pedestrians, we must slow down and walk calmly so that no one gets hurt. When we come back, we'll discover how to behave around strangers. 
And we'll learn the rules of riding in our parents' car. But before we go, how about another Nova quiz? Here it goes. What should you do before crossing the street? A. Jump up and down. B. Close your eyes. C. Look both ways. We'll be right back with the answer here in the best place in outer space. Kids Planet. Don't go anywhere. We're back with more incredible adventures here on Kids Planet. Time for the answer to our Nova quiz. Remember the question? What should you do before crossing the street? A, jump up and down. B, close your eyes. C, look both ways. If you guessed C, you're right. You should look both ways before crossing the street. When you look both ways, you're making sure no cars are coming so you can cross safely. Another important rule when we are in the street is to be aware of the people around us. My mom tells me all the time, don't talk to strangers. Strangers are people we don't know. Curious will help us discover why our parents repeat this so many times. So if you go out for a walk and a stranger, adult, or kid you don't know comes close to you and offers candy or wants to talk to you, you should politely say, no thank you, and then go find your parents and tell them about the stranger. If you're at the supermarket and you get lost, find someone who works at the store so they can call your parents. People that work at the store wear the same clothing and have name tags. Don't be afraid and ask them for help. Never ever leave anywhere with a stranger or follow people you don't know. If you see a police officer, go talk to them and they will help you. That way, it'll be easier to find your parents if you get lost. My dad taught me two tricks in case I get separated from him or my mom on the street and can't find them. The first trick is, instead of walking away, it's better to stay exactly where I am. It will be easier for my parents to come back and find me if I'm in the same spot. And the second trick is to always have a card with your parents' names and their phone numbers. That way, police officers or other adults can get in touch with your parents to let them know where you are. Now we know. If a stranger comes over to us, we should tell our parents about it. We don't accept candy from people we don't know. And if we lose sight of our parents, adults like police officers can help us find them. going out with my parents in the car. My dad is the best driver I know. I always have fun. But there are rules to follow when riding in the car. Curious will help us learn them. Curious, how should we behave when we ride in the car? First, we always have to put on our seatbelts. Every time I have my seatbelt on, I imagine that I'm an astronaut in space. Everyone in the car should wear their seatbelt to be safe. That will be your next mission when you get in the car with your family. Tell everyone to put on their seatbelts. Another thing I love to do while riding in the car is to listen to music. But we don't listen to it too loudly because that's rude to everyone else in the car, right? And it can be distracting to the driver. Kids ride in the back of the car. It's much safer in case there's an accident. When we grow up to be bigger, we can ride up in front. 
My favorite thing to do in the car is talk to my parents about my day. I tell them about all the fun things I did, what I learned, and I can ask them questions about things I still don't understand. They sure know a lot, and they love me. It is also important to follow our parents' instructions on the car doors. Always, 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 but always. We must keep the doors closed. It is for our safety. We should never lie on the car door, because if the car door is damaged while the car is moving, it could be detached and we would fly away. It will be awful and no, 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 no. We don't want that to happen to us. It is better to be seated correctly. One day with my dad in the car, we saw a man throwing a can from his car. My dad was annoyed and sad. Then he explained to me, Nova, what that gentleman did should not be done because it messes up the street and also because you could hit a person with that can or hit a car and cause an accident. That's why I keep the cans or any other object like the wrappers or the bags of the cookies. And when we get out of the car, I throw them into the trash can. Cars are like a universe. It's like they have planets and rings and stars. Car windows are fun. Sometimes by the effect of the temperature, they fog and then Neutron and I play to be drawers. We make the best drawings in the windows. The car windows also allow us to greet people who go in other cars. Once I went with my dad and mom in the car and we saw Galaxy in the car next to us. And we greet each other with great affection. My mom has fun when we make drawings in the windows and she also does her drawings. And she teaches us that, Nova, you can't take your head out the window neither arms or hands, let alone the legs. It's very dangerous because another car could pass very close, and that would cause an accident and we would do much damage. Can you imagine that we take our arm outside the window and the car passes very close to a pole? No, better not. So we should always have the head, arms, hands, legs, and all our body inside the car. My mom, Neutron, and I were going from the supermarket to the parking lot. My mom took the opportunity to show us some things about the cars in the parking lot. She told us, cars should always be parked between the yellow or white stripes that are painted on the floor. The car should never be placed on the line because another car is prevented from being parked. And you know what? In the parking lot, you also have to look sideways because there are cars and they move to get in or out. So you have to be very careful. My Aunt Orbit told me that she once saw a car and cart crash. Yes, it's amazing. A grocery cart with a car because the driver of the car did not see well and hit the grocery cart where a person carried their groceries. It is that parking is a place where we must be very prudent. Well, that's all our time for today. We had fun and we learned a lot. We learned about traffic signs and traffic lights. We discovered the right way to cross the street. Don't forget about the zebra crossing. We learned that helping others, being kind and smiling is always important when we go for a walk. We learned why our parents tell us not to talk to strangers. And we discovered what to do if a stranger comes up to us. And we learned the car is a fun place that has rules we need to follow in order to respect our parents and stay safe. Also, we learned to be careful in parking lots. Now it's time to say goodbye. But don't worry, we'll see each other again soon, right here. The best place in outer space. Kids Planet. See you next time. <laughs>